Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Today I'm going to be going over another release from one of my favorite and hopefully yours craft distilleries, Iron Root. Now this is the Iron Root Icarus, so let's get into it. In the past, I've talked about several releases from the Iron Root Distillery. As I mentioned, they're one of my favorite craft distilleries. So I've talked about their Harbinger, their Harbinger XC, the Promethean, and now the Icarus. So I'll put a link up there for anybody who's curious if you want to learn more about the distillery. But this is 100% corn mash bill. But don't be fooled into thinking this is some sort of basic yoga pants, Ugg boots wearing, pumpkin spice drinking whiskey. This is uh, heirloom purple corn. This is red flint corn and non-GMO yellow dent corn. And it's one of the things I like the most about uh, Iron Root is that they get just all kinds of funky with the corn that they are using. And I love the fact that they're kind of being inventive with it. It's, like I said, one of the things I really like about them. So let's see how it drinks. Now something worth mentioning is that this is 52.5% ABV and it's aged for 39 months. So. You know, it's uh, not super hot, but it's it's up there. So let's go ahead and give this a nose. <sighs> Make sure to keep your mouth open when you nose. It is something that will help to keep the airflow going and it will eliminate a lot of the alcohol burn. So if you didn't know that, now you do. All right, when you're nosing this, you're gonna pick up red wine. And I think that's very cool. It's totally unexpected. It's it's not at all what you would think when you see something this color. <laughs> but I'm getting kind of like a Cabernet Sauvignon or Cab Sav, uh, if you want to sound like a douche about it. So, <laughs> and then uh, not so much like a Pinot Grigio, but maybe like a Shiraz or a Merlot. It's it's like a heavy bodied red wine. So I'm also getting a, like raisins and a little tiny bit of smoke actually which is unexpected, but you definitely get it. It's it's an ashy, not cigarette ash, but it's it's definitely, it's like a charcoal ash. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Cheers. Hmm. Now this is where it's weird, because it does not drink like red wine. It's more of like an iodine and a salt and smoke and just very, Maybe plums, um, plums or, or, or raisins again. Um, maybe it's not sweet enough for a date. Um, but there's some something else there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the plums and raisins. So it's got uh, you know call it dark fruits. That's what a lot of us do. So let's go overall. When talking about iron root, it's tough because they're not available everywhere. And I know a lot of you guys live in California. I know a lot of you live in Texas. Luckily, it's available in both those places. What I'm hoping though is more than a couple of years from now, when Iron Root is taking over the country, somebody will find this video and see the Icarus and pick it up. This would be a buy it from me, if you can find it. So <laughs> thank you very much for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. Be sure to check out thewhiskeydictionary.com and I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.